Hello and welcome. Today we're testing out some new equipment, audio recording equipment, and I want to go over a light bag that I made. I've had this completed for about a month or so, and I did show part of this bag in another video. I figured I'd just briefly go over what I have inside and why I have it and what I use it for. So, to begin with, we're using the VanQuest FTIM 6x9 Generation 2 EDC pouch organizer. On the sides here, we have a couple of lights. Uh, on my left, we have a Warrior X Pro. This is a 21700 light, battery light, 21700 battery. And it has a smooth peel reflector in front, some pretty aggressive knurling and, and crenulations in the front here, some nice deep heat, heat sinks, a metal tail cap, which you can use for charging via the internal proprietary Olight charging system has two modes it has a low when you have press on the tail switch and as a high so the reason why i have this is that i use it for search and rescue when i'm out on the trails looking for lost hikers for part of my job and it's just a really good thrower light for seeing what's in the yard too so it comes into a very nice niche spot for me in my kit normally i would disconnect it from here and carry it on my belt and put this little lanyard on the inside of here so it doesn't get caught anything as I'm out on the trails. Moving along, we have the Science Sky P25. I have a diffuser on this one, but this is also a tail clicky switch and a front switch mode operating light, as you can see. I just happen to keep the diffuser on, so if I'm doing any kind of like traffic duty, routing people in cars or whatever. I have to during work or whatnot I have a little diffuser on it and they can see me it's like a glow stick basically this is also a 21700 battery operated light moving along further in the kit here we have a front slip pouch and this has my AA batteries rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries rechargeable nickel metal hydride AAA batteries and some disconnect tabs that they ship with the lights I keep them in there in case I want to keep my lights in the bag for a long duration I'll put them in the in the actual battery tube so they don't turn on and drain the battery. We have Orbitronics 16650 battery, 2500 milliamp hours. We have two CR123A batteries from Olight. I use them for my M1T Raider Plus from Olight. Let's open up the bag now. It opens up in a clamshell type format, which is particularly useful if you're looking to grab gear quickly. And the last time I used this, I didn't fit this back right, but there we go. But even then, you can kind of see, like, the kit, you can still kind of get everything at easily. We have a whole variety of lights here. We have the i3T from Olight. It's a AAA light. We have the i5UV. We have the i5T here in OD Green. We have the i5T in Camo. We have a NU17 Nightcore headlamp. It's a multi-use headlamp. It's got a variety of different LEDs on it has red LEDs in different modes. And then you also have side LEDs as well. And we also have a single thrower in the center too. So it gives you a variety of options. Clicks into here so you don't accidentally push the buttons. It has a USB recharging port. Most of these lights, if not all of them, in the, in the pack can be charged with the system that I have in the pack here. Uh, I just haven't really organized it as much lately because I haven't been paying attention to the kit in the past month but I digress these are some of the primary lights that I use moving along we have some more specialty lights other than the i5 UV we have a Raylight TA LAN version 3 grade 5 titanium this uses a Nietzsche 219C emitter inside with AR coated lens glass lens and orange peel reflector these optics on these lights are TIR type optics. We have the Luxon TX emitter and the i3T and the, I believe it's the Ashram P9 emitters in these, with the exception of the i5 UV. But going back to the rear light, this is a tail clickly switch also. Has several different modes and different run times with the Nietzsche 219C high CRI emitter. I particularly like my CRI to be pretty high on my emitters and neutral white tints anywhere from 4,000 Kelvin to about 3,500 Kelvin. Moving along, speaking of the 3,500 Kelvin rating, 
temperature rating for LEDs. This is the MSR D4 V2 in copper. I have it with the standard switch here. They have an option for a raised bezel. This is the lower bezel. This is a four quad emitter with the E21A Nietzsche emitters. Uh, I've, I'm trying to remember the exact specifications. 3500 temperature rating and this operates on the Andril UI system. Uh, this is a very heavy light. It runs on the 18650 battery, but it, it came with a 18350 battery tube that I purchased with it for another $13. So you can run 18350 batteries in here, lithium ion. And uh, the reason why I have this is that it, it's got aux lights in it. One, two, three, four, and it uses the Andrew UI system. As you can see, the aux lights there are red. You can change the colors of these aux to a variety of different colors. And also, I don't know if you can see the switch, but it is a light up switch as well. You can kind of see that there in the camera, but it's kind of a nice little gimmick on it. I like it. You can turn it on it has several different modes on it. So I find this particularly useful and the temperature is very pleasant in the beam. Now I did get another Carclo optic with this It's a frosted one. I haven't switched it out. I find the Carclo optic on this one is more than adequate for my needs, but some people vary that. So I personally like it. So I keep it on there. One, two, three, four. Now the light is locked out. So if I push the button once, it won't turn on. That's why I like this light. It has a variety of programmable options in the UI. But we have that in here. This would be like a primary carry for me if I'm not going a long distance on the trail. But it is kind of heavy due to it being copper, but then it has antimicrobial, uh, antibacterial, I guess you could say, properties because it is copper too. Moving along, we have the I3T in titanium. This is another AAA light, just a titanium version of the red aluminum version here. And I keep this as my personal pocket mini EDC light if I need one. I'll take this out and use it for the day. It runs on a AAA battery. It's got two modes. It's got a low and then it's got a high. And that's it. Pretty simple to operate. Many of the lights in this bag are simple to operate in case I have to hand them off to somebody and make sure my co-workers or whoever is with me on any kind of operations are prepared. Generally, you don't need this many lights, and this is just a backup to a backup, really, but I, it has come in handy a couple times for me, so that's why I keep it like this. Moving along, we have a Night TI3 version 2. This is another AAA light with a twist switch, and it has a clear lens with orange peel reflector. I forget the emitter inside that it's using, but it had a greenish tint to it, which is why I kind of put it in a reserve spot. So I'm not exactly a uh, big fan of the light. You can kind of see that on my hand. I don't know if you can see with the camera, but at any rate, it's there. It's in reserve. It uses a AAA battery, rechargeable one. So I have it there in case I want to give somebody a light who doesn't really care about the tint. I'm kind of a tint snob with the collection of different LED lights and whatnot. Moving along, we do have a bunch of bags too with my extender tubes and O-rings for the lights that I have. They typically send these lights with a lot of extra spare O-rings, so I decided to kind of just keep them all in one spot. We have a Scienceki M2 light. This is a updated version which I have to get to. I haven't had a chance yet, but Scienceki sent me this light for review, and they updated the button on this light. This is an older button model, but this is a rechargeable via micro USB port here small pocket Thora light. So you hold down the switch, it comes on. I forget what the uh, LED is inside, but it's got a nice throw. It's a, a smooth reflector inside with a glass AR coated lens. So you get a nice throw for a pocket EDC light, like keychain light that is, I'd, I'd have to say. And it's very light, very portable. It's like almost the size of a 16340 battery. So we have that in here. And then Underneath all this stuff, we have a lithium ion battery bank. We have some Olight Universal chargers and the charging system for my Warrior X Pro inside of here and any other compatible charging systems that Olight uses. And then in this brown or black bag, we have a Ultralast green solar panel. This charges AA batteries and outputs a USB current. So I use this to charge my AA batteries and or charge the battery bank, which can then charge single AA batteries. So I have a 
an option of how to charge my batteries with this solar panel inside of here. Is it the best solar panel on the market? No, but it fits the bag and my needs perfectly for in the field. It takes a while to charge the batteries inside of it, but that's okay. This bag's not really designed to be operational in the field for a very long duration, but I can charge in the field if I have to, if I have no other choices. So that's why it's in there. Moving along, we have the Sineski M3. This is the first iteration with the blue emitter inside of it. I forget which LED emitters in here, but they sent me an updated model of this. I did a small review. Let me see if I can find it here. Here I have the newer model and you can kind of see a difference in the LEDs here. One's more neutral. I'll turn them up. You can kind of see in the right side's a little bit warmer than the left side. So the right side is using the SST20. I forget which LED is being used in the original one. But I EDC this one in my bag because it has high CRI and neutral white, like 40,000 temperature rating, I think is the uh, actual temperature rating on this. So it's pleasant on my eyes, so I keep it in my pocket. And this one's been relegated to the bag. They both run on a 16 and 340 battery, which is USB rechargeable. It has a little port inside of it. So there was proprietary battery they use with their Science, science Sky lights or Science Sky, however you want to pronounce it. But moving along, we have another Olight. This is the i3e EOS. This is a AAA, AAA light, single, just on and off. I have a diffuser on here. It's got a nice throw to it, smooth uh, hotspot as well. I just keep a little diffuser on it. I got these diffusers from Lumentop, so I just kind of stuck them on my O lights here. They happen to fit pretty well. And then one of the last lights that I have in the kit, which is one of my favorites, is the M1T Raider Plus. I have it twisted off to lock it out, but you can twist this on. It uses a 16650 battery inside, or you can use the CR123A batteries in there. I like the 16650 battery personally. Here is it on basic mode here. Just click on and off. Pretty straightforward. If you want to access the modes, you half click once and then click fully again and you get the low mode. If you want strobe mode, you got to do that twice. So one, two, three. And back off. So pretty basic. I like the look of the and the design of this one. Looks really cool. I like it in brown. And it's just a nice basic functioning light so i i would carry this one sometimes if i'm not, if I'm not carrying my warrior mini uh, i'm trying to find it over here on the side well i don't i don't have it on the side here but i'll carry a variety oh i got it right here they gave us new caps with the warrior mini uh old light sent out some diffuser caps for their tail and the front these are glow in a dark tail caps but basically I'll either carry this or this light here uh, depending on what I want to do on the trails and for work or what the specifications are so typically I keep it locked out in the case here so that it doesn't turn on accidentally and burn off my my bag <laughs> cooking all my little lights in it so and then we'll put this back here this is kind of a mess here so I got to organize that a little bit better and then as you can see here the blue kind of cabling that's the old light chargers so this is the bag in a nutshell and how I keep everything arranged plus extra charging cables for various things as well and adapters and whatnot. So that is the light bag that I've finished and I keep a lot of old lights in there and a couple different brands obviously but if I need a light for a specific purpose it's in there. I think maybe I might switch out a light or two and put another headlamp in there. I have a Olight Nova H2R I, I probably would put in there. And I might actually put my Warrior Mini in there or a, uh, let's see if I have it here. I just had it on the side here. Uh, Lumen Top LM10. This model is finally working. I had to get another model at work. The other one stopped working. So this is copper. So these have been my EDC lights, these two, because they, they have a SST20 emitter in there. And they're high CRI. I've been a high CRI kind of guy lately. So that is my light bag. I thought I'd show you that and test out my new audio recording gear. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.